uh, I've raised well over a hundred million dollars, um, you know, for the companies that I've worked with in the capital markets. And so, you know, we have the ability, the networks to be able to, to finance the work that we're doing. can mention some key key players in your team who makes new range the company it is today and what was their expertise so that would be also very interesting for us to to hear from you sure well uh, new range was co-founded by bob carrington who is the chairman and uh, currently the president of the company yeah. And, you know, Bob has, <clears throat> excuse me, more than 40 years experience in the industry. He is a geologist, born and raised in Reno, Nevada, spent a, a large part of his career in Nevada. Right. He has found or uh, been involved in the discovery of several mines, um, you know, in Nevada, as well as elsewhere in the world. So, you know, he, and he's also worked at mine, you know, and, and, and so, so he has a lot of experience in that particular area. Yep. And, and and myself, as I mentioned, also in 40 years, I'm a geologist um, and I co-founded a company called Great Panther Mining. And, you know, we started that in 2004, just myself and uh, my Mexican business partner. <clears throat> and it was basically two, two guys and an idea wow. to, to build a company. And we took that concept and built it into what is now a producing mining company with mines in Mexico, Brazil, and, uh, and Peru. And at its peak, Great Panther had a market cap of about $600 million. Oh, wow. uh, so uh, we, we have the ability to make discoveries. We, we have the experience in building companies. We, we know what it takes. Um, you know, I've raised well over a hundred million dollars, um, you know, for the companies that I've worked with in the capital markets. And so, you know, we have the ability, the networks to be able to, to finance the work that we're doing. And so, you know, these are all critical components of, of success, uh, because if, if any one of those elements is missing, yep. then, you know, you just, you're not going to be able to, uh, to pull it together. And, uh, and I think also. So, you know, coming back to, you know, the, the knowledge that, that we have with Bob, the technical knowledge that we have in, in Nevada with, with Bob, with myself in, um, in Canada, with the Red Lake project. And, and the fact that both of us have also worked in mine, you know, we understand what it takes to, to make a mine. And so it's, it's getting from that initial stage from that discovery stage, you know, through to, through to mining, um, that, you know, it takes a good understanding of that, because if you don't understand what it takes to actually make a mine, sure. then you really have no idea what you're looking for. Though I'm, I'm, I'm not much into technicalities of geology, but I, I'm very much interested in understanding how, how you find a mine, how you explore it, then development phase, and then you go with the mining, which in my learning takes a couple of years to do that. But you mentioned mm -hmm. one thing with yourself and uh, with other Bob as well, that he has this closeness to Nevada. So he understands the area, he grew up there, he understands the ge geographical location of it. Because what we also saw that many companies were having 40 years of experience, the CEO had, but the experience was in Peru. And now he's going to find right. yes. in Arizona, for example, you know. So th that also is not a right model. So I, for everybody, I think, listening to us right now that if they want to look for and explore for a mine to invest in, a company to invest in, they should always look for the people behind that company and also try to look at what was their previous experience. And it doesn't mean that mm -hmm. if they have uh, 20, 25, 30 years of experience in, in mining exploration, but it should be relevant experience. So Bob, would you, would you agree to yes. that or... Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, although the one the one thing I would mention is that um, you know geology is kind of a global phenomenon in a sense, and you can find very similar geological environments 
in different countries. And so, you know, just being in a different country doesn't necessarily mean that the geology is, is greatly different or, um, you know, if you have spent most of your career in Peru, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that that experience is not applicable elsewhere. It's, it very much can be. So, so that is something to to, to consider as well. But, uh, but having said that, you know, you look at uh, the specific um, projects and, and models that, that a company is using, and then, you know, look for the experience that, that is relevant to that. And in Nevada for us, you know, as, as you say, Bob has a lot of experience there. And, um, you know, the, and then up in, up in Ontario, I spent the first 15 years of my career, you know, with the major companies working in that general region and and quite specifically in that that particular area where our, our north birch project is located and so uh, you know i'm very familiar with that project with that geological environment and in fact i i had actually acquired this project myself going back to 2002 so it's something that i have a lot of familiarity with and bob was formerly the ceo of a company called gold canyon who at one point owned the spring pole deposit that is now almost 5 million ounces and it's only 12 kilometers away from our North Birch project. And so, you know, he has worked up there as well in that, that very specific region. And so between the two of us, you know, we've got a lot of familiarity with, with that area and very comfortable with it. And, um, you know, and I, through my association with New Mountain Plaster Dome and, you know, I also have some familiarity with, with Nevada. So, uh, you know, between us, you know, we ha I think we have all the bases covered uh, on both projects. I was looking at your presentation that you guys are looking for district level scale gold. So what mm -hmm. is that, if you can explain to us in a simple way, like how it looks yeah. or <clears throat> what, what is the significance of it? 